ओके All right. So now let's start. Okay. So by this reason I have to start this again. okay so now we will start about digestion right okay yes human nutrition graded portion okay we will discuss today about digestion right you know like Okay. So, you know, like what is digestion? First of all, you should know about digestion. It's the process in which large molecule convert into small soluble molecules, right? So that it should be absorbed like it is easy to absorb to your blood. This process is called digestion. Once again, listen to me. Digestion is the conversion of large molecule into small soluble molecule so that it absorbs to our blood easily from intestine, right? So this process is called digestion. So if you see here, these are like, we will discuss about this is digestive system. So digestive system consists of different parts. Like it starts from mouth or esophagus, right? It is stomach, right? And pancreas, small intestine, and this is large intestine, right? So these are the part of digestive system while it is liver, liver and gallbladder. It's play important role in the production of boils. But now let me tell you about elementary canal. Like what is elementary canal? Like it's this whole pipe, it start from here and then cross to stomach and then small intestine and large intestine. So they, through which the food pass, that is called elementary canal, right? So not like these part are not liver and these are other, uh, like these are not that part of elementary, elementary canal, like from here it start and it end on a uh, large intestine, right? Through which the food fast, that's called elementary canal, right? Now, you know, like digestion, first of all, we have to know about this key definition. The first thing is, Ingestion. Ingestion is actually the taking of substance such as food or drink into the body through mouth. Like whenever we are taking the substance, so that's that is called what like taking of substance to mouth. That process is called what ingestion. While we have then digestion. Digestion I defined you already. Digestion is the process in which a large soluble molecule convert into small solid like for example it's a large molecule so that will convert into small molecule 
so that it absorbs from the intestine to your blood easily. So this is digestion. Now we have two types of digestion. One we have chemical di mechanical digestion. One we have mechanical digestion. Okay. And another we have chemical digestion. Right now, mechanical digestion is actually the breakdown of food into small pieces without the chemical changes. Without means no chemical changes is happening in that. It means in mechanical digestion, there is no like there is no involvement of enzyme. Only just physically the breakdown of food happens. Like for example. If you eat food and your mouth, your teeth convert into small particles. So your teeth did nothing with that. Just it convert into small particle by mechanical force. Here is no rule of any enzyme when teeth is converting the food into small particle. So this type of digestion is called mechanical digestion. Okay, this type of digestion is called mechanical digestion. Only the food convert into small particle by the help of teeth. But you know, when the food is going through elementary canal, there is also muscle contraction and relaxation. Like I'm talking about prestalic moment. So they also help in the conversion of this food into small particle. So that is also mechanical digestion. So mechanical digestion, let me repeat once again, the breakdown of food, and to small particle without chemical change to that food, without the involvement of enzyme. So this is called mechanical digestion. Now, what is the importance of mechanical digestion? You should be clear about it. What is the importance of mechanical digestion? You know, like if this food is converted into small pieces, so it means that the surface area of this molecule is increasing. It means simply, I will tell you more, like for example, it is first of all, it is a big molecule, right? So all the area, all the parts of this molecule is not exposed to enzyme. But when I convert into small particle, like if it is become like this small, small particle. So if most, every part of this molecule is now exposing to enzyme. So that's why we like, this is one of the importance of mechanical digestion. Let me once again tell you. Mechanical digestion, food, the big molecule or large molecule convert into small molecule in order to expose each part or mostly part of that molecule to enzyme in order to increase the surface area for the action of enzyme. In simple word, if I will tell you here, let's suppose it's a large molecule right now. Now, the enzyme can reach only to the surfaces, but it cannot reach to this middle. But when I convert this big molecule into small molecule, so every enzyme, like, like whatever enzyme, will protease, lipase, every enzyme can come and can digest these molecules now easily. So this is the importance of mechanical digestion. So mechanical digestion actually make uh, very easy for chemical digestion. So then chemical digestion will start and chemical digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble molecule into small soluble molecule. Like how, like for example, if your food contain uh, starch, right? If your food contains starch, right? For example, your food contains starch. So Starch will convert into what? Starch will convert into maltose. By which enzyme? Sorry. Sorry. It will convert into maltose by a special enzyme. That enzyme is amylase. So starch will convert a, into maltose by special enzyme called what? Amylase. Is it clear? So one of the students telling, remember, Iwa, one of the students is telling that maltase, but later on, maltose 
will convert into a special enzyme called maltase, right? Into glucose by that enzyme present in small intestine. But right now I'm talking about the enzyme that converting starch into maltose. That is amylase and that amylase now present in your saliva. I'm just giving example of chemical digestion. So my starch will convert into maltose. Is it clear? Now, such other like other substrate will be also there like protein, it will convert by protease enzyme to amino acid. So all these are what chemical digestion, like if you take example of protein, so protein will convert into uh, what amino acid. So, Right? So protease enzyme will convert protein into amino acid and amino acid is a small particle that can like absorb, it's a basic unit of protein, it can absorb from your intestine to your blood easily. So this is another example of chemical digestion. Right? Now, later on, when the food reach to your small intestine, so it's in the small intestine is the moment of small food molecule and ion through the wall of intestine into the blood. So here these molecules will enter to your blood from small intestine. Now from the blood it will reach to liver through hepatic water vein and is the moment of digested food molecule and to the cell from where it will reach to different cells of your body and will become the part of your and will become the part of your cell. So that process is called what assimilation. When food molecule reach your cell and become the part of cell, so that is called what assimilation. Why? Remember, it is not compulsory that all the food enter to your bloodstream. It is not important. So some of the food remain undigested. So that pass out of that food should be pass out in his now is the passes passes out a food that is not being digested or absorbed so it's feces through anus so this is called what egyptian egyptian remember most of the students getting confused by these two term one is egyptian right another is excretion right so is it clear so one is egyptian is another is what another is excretion so egyptian is the removal of undigested food remember egyptian is what it is the removal of undigested food it means this food did not enter to your cell and it's not chemically processed while excretion is the removal of those waste material that produce by a cell, by certain chemical processes. Means the food that already absorbed your body and your body, certain chemical processes happen and is a result of that, that waste product form. Like for example, deamination. And deamination, what is happening? Removal of amino acid, like remove nitrogen containing part from amino acid. And later on it become urea. So that, Food actually that protein enter to your cell and in the cell the waste product produce so this is called what excretion so I will tell you excretion is the removal of metabolic waste from your body while addition is the removal of undigested food from your body it means it's not metabolically processed is it clear so give me response to clear on. anyone have question they can ask Anyone have question? So this is the basic definition of addition and excretion. Okay, again, all right. So let's see, I'm telling you, addition is the removal of undigested food from the body. It means the food not 
enter, like it not absorbed your bloodstream to become the part of your cell or enter to the cell. It just directly pass away from like stomach, intestine, and then large intestine, then like out. So this is ejection. While excretion is actually when the food entered your cell and certain chemical reaction happen in the cell, right? And is a result of that such product form, like such waste or excess that are in excess amount. So that thing form that is called what excretion. So is it clear now? Give me a response if it is clear. Uh, oh, okay. One of the students, I will take your answer, your question. Your mechanical digestion, I told you, one is teeth, right? Another, when the food is going through your all elementary canal and the muscle contraction, like in esophagus muscle contract and relax, right? So by that muscle and contraction and relaxation, like peristaltic moment, it is also mechanical digestion. Yes. Is it clear? Okay, now let's move toward another. I'm not getting your question, Usama Amar. What do you mean assimilation occur to? I don't understand it. Like I'm telling you, assimilation is the process in which your food particle become the part of your cell. So the food from intestine, it will reach to your liver and the liver, it will enter to like from the liver, it will go to different uh, part of like to different cells. So anywhere this utilize, that process is called assimilation. Okay, in any cell when it, it utilizes, it becomes the part of that cell, it's called what? Assimilation. Okay. Now, let me move toward another. Now, uh, you can see here. Okay. So, first of all, what is happening? All right, now, first of all, the process of ingestion. Ingestion, I told you already, in taking of food, right? And the food will now, this is what esophagus, are also called food pipe. The food will pass through esophagus and it will reach to stomach, right? Stomach for time being, it will store, but here it will also process by special enzyme, like protease enzyme producing by stomach and also here like, certain acid hydrochloric acid and that with the help of that the food digestion will happen here but later on the food right now it's called chyme that will come to world your small intestine and passes through small intestine then it will pass to large intestine and that it will to ns it will, the process of ingestion will take place right but remember food absorbed from your small intestine right while the extra water it absorbs from the food through in the large intestine so remember these are the important point here right well now remember here in ingestion and mouth two types of digestion take place one is uh, one is what no, one is uh, mechanical another is chemical so mechanical with the help of teeth and mechanical like so yeah chemical that is with the help of amylase enzyme they will convert starch into uh, maltose okay and later on that is now the food that is called bolus that will start moving through the peristaltic moment of this esophagus while peristaltic moment is the construction and relaxation of the muscle 
right? So by the help of that, you know, there is circular muscle and longitudinal muscle. Both are uh, in like, the, I'm talking about the muscle here that is present in esophagus, right? So one is uh, uh, circular and it is longitudinal. So one can trick and the relax. So with the help, both are antagonistic of each other. So with the help of that, the food will pass through this esophagus and will reach to stomach, right? Now, you know, like the food that, the breakdown of food with the help of peristalsis, it's also mechanical digestion. Yes, please. And there is also different other organ like here to intestine. Uh, pancreas will also secrete certain secretion. I will tell you the rule of pancreas now. That will also secrete uh, enzyme and that will also increase bicarbonate, uh, car right? Bicarbonate to make this like, you know, the food that came from the uh, stomach that's called chyme. So in that, that is acidic. So that see, pancreas will secrete their enzyme to make like to neutralize that acidity. And on the like at the same time, also liver will, uh, the liver will produce what? Like already the bile is stored in the gallbladder, but liver already produce it. It is in gallbladder, so from gallbladder, bile will also come here. And it will mix here with food and bile will also convert the food into small particle. I will discuss you this in detail, don't worry. And then the food will pass through this uh, to intestine, okay? Yes. All right. Now, who have a question? Let me check your questions. Yes. So here I am not talking about like the food will not store in the stomach. It is not like this. But here, you know, like it's the place like food take uh, some time for the digestion is compared to other places. So it is not like this. For stomach is the storage organ, right? So the, like it's compared to other organ like elementary canal. Like so the food will remain for some time in the stomach, right? Right? Okay, so and like the digestion, I'm telling you like, I will discuss this each part in detail now, don't worry. Is it clear? No, the removal of nitrogen containing part of amino acid is deamination. It is deamination. Remember, the removal of, I actually discussed with you in that point, deamination, deamination, not assimilation. In assimilation, the food becomes the part of your cell, okay? Deamination is the removal of nitrogen containing part from amino, okay? Now, we will discuss now each part, don't worry. So mechanical digestion often the food and animals eat in large pieces. So these pieces of food need to be broken by teeth or by, by churning moment of elementary canal. So this mechanism is called what mechanical digestion. One species of food is being ground up the large molecule present are then broken into small molecule. When you take the food, the large will convert into small molecule. Mechanical digestion start in the mouth. We are achieving break down the food into small pieces and that can be swallowed, right? Circular muscular contraction of stomach continue this process. Like I told you, like peristaltic moment, if it, it is happening in the esophagus, in the stomach, everywhere, like contraction and relaxation of that muscle. So that will also convert the food into small pieces and it is mechanical digestion. Okay, you can study the slide, please. Study this slide. Okay. 
okay now so you can see it here now chemical digestion we discussed already chemical digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble food molecule into small soluble molecule by the action of enzyme okay so chemical digestion is the breakdown of large insoluble food molecules into small soluble molecule by the action of enzyme so here the word action of enzyme is very important right now this occur in mouth stomach and intestine so in mouth i told you like with the action of uh, like the action of amylase enzyme stomach protease and intestine small intestines there is like uh, protease maltase and lipase all that enzyme act on the food right and mechanical digestion you know like the process of digestion start chemical digestion like start in mouth by amylase then in stomach there is also protease and then intestine most of the enzyme is also there because like to uh, small intestine the lining of small intestine producing maltase and second pancreas is producing pancreatic juice that contain protease lipase all that enzyme that is essential for the food digestion it is also there in the small intestine so the first part of the small intestine also this process of digestion here right now mechanical digestion i told you the uh, importance of mechanical digestion mechanical digestion gives a large surface area for the enzyme to work on the three types of enzyme in the elementary canals are protease carbohydrates and lipase the proteins act on protein to convert it to ammonia acid carbohydrates act on like carbohydrate to convert into small uh, like basic particle glucose and lipase it act on fats to convert fats into fatty acid and glycerol right once again listen proteins convert protein into amino acid carbohydrates it convert carbohydrate into glucose because glucose as monosaccharide it is a small basic unit while lipase convert lipid like it's x on lipid specially i will give you example like fats it convert into fatty acid and glycerol each type of the food molecule need a specific enzyme because they have different shapes so if they are if they are talking about the uh, like enzyme specificity but we will not go to that like for each like protease it will act only on protein because its shape is like uh, like for its for protease the actioside of protein is similar like is uh, complementary to that of a substrate protein substrate okay now you can check the material please now so this is now you can see here large insoluble molecule with the help of enzyme plus water right hydrolysis reaction the reaction in which water utilized is a hydrolysis so with the help of enzyme plus water the large insoluble molecule will convert into small soluble molecule okay now this is just definition okay so other i will take it later and let me proceed okay so this is all the part of uh, digestive system like food five right esophagus at uh, this stomach and now this is pancreas right this is pancreas pancreas is secreting like through a uh, duct they are secreting their secretion to this first part of the like intestine like stomach here this is called pyloric sphincter like it's a sphincter muscle here so after that this is the region of pancreas start the first part of pancreas is called du duodenum and this part is called ilum right so these duodenum and ilum both form small intestine so like i'm talking about small intestine right so the first part of small intestine is called duodenum and duodenum and this is called ilum so these two part make what small intestine while pancreas is secreting their secretion pancreas secreting their secretion right to the small intestine 
and after that like also along with that also this liver are producing what what liver are producing please tell me liver produce what you may reply yes yes it produce bile right so what is the function of that bile please you know one of the student asking this question again again let me give reply to her it's anabolic or so you know there is we have two type of reaction remember uh, one is it a anabolic reaction another is catabolic reaction you know like metabolic reactions two types anabolic and catabolic and anabolic let me write to you here like for example it is a molecule and you want to convert it into small molecule, right? So this reaction is actually catabolic, in which large molecule convert into small molecule. But if like two molecules come together and they join together, so then that is called what anabolic, right? So here in this reaction, you have to add the water, right? you will add water here in this reaction. While here, the removal of water will take place, right? Understood? So one we have catabolic, another we have, and a catabolic is the breakdown of large molecule into small. While the small molecule when come together and they form a large molecule, so that is, that is called anabolic. While catabolic is the breakdown of large molecule into small. Is it clear now? The student who asking this question again, give me the answer, please. Wait, I'm coming to boil, but uh, let me ask the student that asking about anabolic and catabolic reaction. Yes, give me a response. It is clear now. Anabolic. Yes, you know here production like uh, is I yeah pancreas amylase. I'm going to that, but the one point that you're asking about anabolic reaction and catabolic catabolic simply breakdown of molecule anabolic formation of molecule right now I will go toward that pancreas uh, pancreatic uh, juice and like that I will go now. Okay, now here you come to our, the, my question was boil. So boil produced by liver, right? Who produced boil? Boil produced by liver and it will store in gallbladder, right? And it will secrete to intestine and when it secrete to intestine, so the food that came here, like it's called chyme. So that will mix with that. And you know, if this having large fatty molecule, so that will convert, that boil will convert that large fatty molecule into small droplet, right? Into small droplet. And again, why they are doing like this? Why why they are doing like this? In order to increase the surface area for the action of which enzyme? For the action of lipase enzyme. And lipase enzyme will convert that to fatty acid and glycerol. Lipase enzyme will convert fat into lipase, right? So fat will convert by lipase enzyme to what? to fatty acid and because we know fats consist of uh, two uh, like basic unit fatty acid and glycerol. So like fatty acid and glycerol come together, they form fat. So here, what is the function of uh, bile here? Like remember bile did nothing. They just convert that large molecule into small drop. And this is again like mechanical digestion, like no enzymatic action take place. Enzymatic action will take place later on. It will take place later on when it convert into small droplets. So by this small droplet, then enzyme will act. But from here, the conversion of large fat molecule and a large fatty molecule into small droplet that is called emulsification and it is not chemical digestion remember chemical digestion will take place when they convert into small droplet and the lipase enzyme act on that okay so this is the rule of boil 
right second like they also contain certain secretion like is like pancreas also contain bicarbonate right and bile also contain certain uh, secretion that that make the acidity like the food just came down from the stomach so that are acidic so later like the uh, these secretion also make the food what and make the food like they decrease the acidity in order to make the condition optimum for the action of enzyme now i will take oh no yeah actually like di your question is digestion of fat siphon and pancreas or liver no it's not going to liver liver actually just produce only liver just produce only bile and bile will go to the gallbladder and from the gallbladder that bile will come and fats here the fats will be like here the fats will convert into fatty acid in glycerol with the help of bile like with the with the help of lipase enzyme okay once again let me repeat liver will produce bile and bile will store in gallbladder and that bile will come to the pancreas small intestine that bile will come to small intestine my dear it will come to small intestine and in small intestine what will happen that large fat molecule with the help of bile it will convert into small droplet and that is called emulsification and later on lipase enzyme will act on that droplet droplet and that will convert into fatty acid and glycerol right now you know then the food will pass to the small intestine right and most of the food will absorb to you through small intestine to your blood stream and then the remaining food will come to the large intestine and large intestine the water will absorb to your body from the food and food will go out through anus right so you know like uh, uh, this is the part of small intestine colon and rectum right rectum will uh, undigested food will store for time being and when the time up like egestion it will go out through anus now uh, let me do okay so please just check it here like mouth i told you already ingestion of food mechanical digestion by teeth chemical digestion of starch by amylase so formation of bolus for swallowing salivary gland three pairs and the mouth produce saliva and pour it into the mouth through salivary duct saliva contain amylase for the chemical digestion of starch in food and also liquid to lubricate the food and make small pieces right stick together so that it make a bolus so that it flow to your esophagus is okay Yeah, uh, peristaltic moment, right? So this is the peristaltic moment. You can see a eh? bolus is going, right? So what is uh, transfer food from mouth to stomach by peristalsis, right? It's a muscular. So esophagus is a muscular tube. So the bolus is forced down the esophagus. Wave of muscle contraction put the bolus down toward the stomach, as shown in the diagram. You can see it's all like that was what that was that uh, uh, peristalsis. this wave of contraction known as peristalsis and they occur throughout the length of gut you want to see again you can check it here muscle contraction and relaxation so this contraction and relaxation uh, that push the bolus and your gut right like and your esophagus here and it is flowing down so this is called this is peristalsis and it help like to also make the food to small particle it's also like mechanical digestion is it clear
now uh, stomach produce stomach produce gastric juice containing pepsin for the chemical digestion of protein and peristalsis charm the food up to in into a liquid right now the stomach is strong muscular wall so the muscle can track and relax to turn the food and mix it with the enzyme and mucus right now the mixture is called chyme i told you the food that contain like now the liquid food that's now came from the stomach so that is called what chyme so like all part of the alimentary canal the stomach wall contain good blood cell which secrete mucus and the stomach can store the food for quite a long time is one of the student ask it is a storage organ so i told it's just like for a long time it keep the food that's why the word storage used there after one or two or the sphincter at the bottom pyloric sphincter like the sphincter muscle that is in the bottom of the stomach it will open and let the chyme to enter to the small intestine first part of small intestine the food will enter to duodenum is it clear okay now i think this is clear just check it please those students that want to study you can please Okay, so let me move toward another. All right, now the stomach produces hydrochloric acid. So the hydrochloric acid secretes by cell in the wall of stomach that create a very acidic pH of one to two. So that help to begin digestion and it kill many harmful microorganisms that might have been swallowed along the food. So the enzyme at the stomach were best in acidic condition, right? Why here like stomach, uh, they are producing the first thing, it's help, like I'm talking about the stomach acid. So the first thing, it helped in digestion of, uh, sorry, it helped in like killing up microorganism. Second, the important rule of it is it like the enzyme that is in the stomach, it worked best at one to two pH, I mean the optimum pH for that is low pH, acidic pH. So the presence of HCl in the stomach causes the activation of the enzyme, like pepsin, the name of enzyme mentioned here, pepsin. Now, this is the rule of small intestine we discussed already. The small intestine is the part of elementary canal between the stomach and colon. It's about five meter long and it's called the small intestine because it's quite narrow. It's quite narrow. Right, different, different parts of small intestine having different names. Like the first part near to the stomach is duodenum, while the last part near to colon is ilum. Like the first part is called, the, if you draw the like, this is with like intestine is narrow, as the small intestine is narrow and compared to large intestine, right? Narrow, the inner area, my, my, I mean the lumen is less as compared to large intestine. So if this is your intestine, okay? So this part, the part that is near, so this is stomach, right? So the part that is near this part, this is near to the stomach, this part is duodenum, while this part is called the coil and recoil part, which is called ella, okay? All right, now let's move toward another.
Okay, who have a question? Give me a It's not big intestine. It is small in the, uh, one is small intestine, another is large intestine. Okay, now pancreas is about six inch long and it's like sight across back of the abdomen behind the stomach. So the head of pancreas is on the right side of abdomen and connected to duodenum, right? Through a small tube called pancreatic duct, right? Pancreatic duct, like pancreas produce pancreatic juice and that contain mucus, hydrogen carbonate, which neutralize the acidity of chyme. You know, the food just reach now from the stomach right here so that pancreas that you can see here that produce what that produce like is their secretion and that secretion contain mucus hydrogen carbonate so that hydrogen carbonate it's actually neutralize the acidity of that uh, kind right the food that just like the liquid food that just came from that stomach that is called kind so the secretion that are producing by uh, pancreas that contain uh, hydrogen carbonate and that act is a buffer that neutralize the uh, acidity of that kind okay pancreatic juice is poured into small intestine to pancreatic duct so through pancreatic duct like this is pancreatic duct so it will come to small intestine right and on the way also this is liver and this is gallbladder so they are also producing uh, to their secretion here to intestine right like bile they are producing here Okay, several enzymes are secreted into duodenum, so they are made the pancreas, which is like cream color gland lying just under the, underneath the stomach, a tube called the pancreatic duct leak from pancreas into duodenum. Pancreatic juice, which is a fluid made by pancreas flow along this tube. We discussed about this already. And this liquid contains many enzymes, including amylase, protease, and lipase. Okay, they are here they are talking about pancreas pancreas here like its act is a gland right now because it is producing different type of enzyme like that enzyme include amylase for the breakdown of starch protease and protease for the breakdown of protein and lipase for the breakdown of uh, lipid okay we discussed this already Okay, now liver, right? So this is the liver is the large, just gland, glandular organ, weighing about two point. The liver is reddish brown in color and feel rubbery to touch. It feel rubbery when you are touching it, right? So it produce bile, which help to neutralize acidity. Like what is the function of bile? So you have to give the sensor, like it neutralize the acidic chyme and also emulsify friends, okay? It's after that when the food go from like with it when it's absorbed from your intestine from your intestine and it go toward the liver. So liver also play important role in the assimilation, right? The that food that become the part of the cell or some food they send to breast into different part of your body. So this is another function of liver. Okay, gallbladder. You know, gallbladder is like the bile will come here in the gallbladder and it will store for the time for some time and when it need it will release to uh, it will release to intestine okay is about emulsification.